Hello, my name is Justin with the BridgeCom Systems team, and we'll be learning how to program our 878 Plus with our SkyBridge Hotspot. If you haven't already programmed your SkyBridge Hotspot, click the link below to learn how. Before we get started, something we'll need is the 878 CPS. You can get that from our website under support. You want to make sure you have your call sign and DMR ID on hand. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now that we're in CPS, we'll want to make sure that we plug in our 878. Once you either click, you know you're in. So when you're under public and channel, you'll want to go to sky, and in this case it's Oklahoma, or OK, Southwest. You'll double click Oklahoma, and you'll bring up the settings. You'll want to make sure that you change this to the um, abbreviation for your state. You'll click Oklahoma over here, and you'll find this big list of all the states and talk groups. You'll want to find your state, so for us, that's Missouri. And you hit OK to apply changes. Then you head over to digital and you'll go to radio ID list. Here's where you want to change your name. So for us, it's Cody. And then you'll put your call sign in. Make sure you have your, radio, your DMR ID on hand. and then you'll want to go to optional settings under public. When you open this up, it'll say default interface. You'll click the drop down, custom character, and it'll change it to your name, followed by your call sign. Then under work mode at the top left, you'll want to change from frequency in the drop down to channel. Go back ever, over everything to make sure your radio ID has appeared. And once it has, you'll want to go up here to write to radio, click OK, and then both boxes should be checked, hit OK again. There'll be about three writes here and it'll take quite a while. Once your write is completed, you'll see that your name and your call sign pop up on your radio. Once you're in your radio, you'll want to make sure that you switch over using the middle knob to Sky Parrot. This is where you can test to see if your connection is working properly with your SkyBridge. Key in saying something like, test one, two, three. At the top left, you see the bars and the Parrot will pop up. If the mic wasn't plugged in, you'd hear your audio coming back. Now, if you had the DV Mega previously, the radio frequency and general configuration on the Pi Star needs to be 446525. And as long as that matches up to the on the 878 CPS, the receive and transmit frequencies, you should be good to go and ready to go on the air. That's how easy it is to program your 878 with your hotspot. Now we're gonna go over a few common errors. The first one we'll go over is the band error. So this is a common error you get. A band error means that the mode of the radio is not in the same mode as CPS is in. So what you want to do to resolve this is you'll want to make sure you have the RDT for your code plug and you'll want to make sure you have open file space. And once you have that, you'll want to hit read from radio and this will take everything from this radio and put it onto our computer CPS. You want to make sure you click through everything, hitting OK. And then once the read data completed comes up, you'll see that no, we no longer have anything in here. Now what you want to do is you want to hit Tool, then Import, Import from File List, and you'll want to find your um, you want to find your LST file. If you don't already have an LST, then you'll need to open your RDT and convert it to an LST. Let's go with the new code plug for today. And it'll say import from file. You'll hit yes. And this can take some time. And once you see import complete, you're all done. And the next one we'll do is a COM port error. 
It's really simple. Sometimes you'll get an error where you'll have it and it'll say, can I open communication port? Make sure you have your port plugged in. And if you still get the error, you'll want to go up here in between the read to radio and the write to radio. Click that. Make sure the COM3 is selected. Hit OK. And it should write fine after that. Click the link below if you still need help programming your hotspot or your radio. This is Justin with BridgeCom Systems, 7-3.